Hi everyone, it's Lana, and I've had so many requests to do an updated house tour. I've lived in this house now since 2015, and I love it, Florida. I love Florida. I love everything about Florida, but I thought I would start in the garage just because um, that's where I come in at, okay? This is my uh, Corvette. It's a Z06. Her name is Cinderella. I've always named every one of my cars. I've never forgotten one of my cars and their names. And then this is my G-Wagon. I Everything here, like I have a business name, it's Pretty Fly. My Wi-Fi is Pretty Fly Wi-Fi. Um, so why not make this Pretty Fly? <laughs> so um, just the, my garage is a cluttered mess. I hate clutter and I need to get busy. But I want, most importantly, I wanted to show you this because I was busting out of the seams of my closet and I renovated my master suite and the closet. I had nowhere to put these clothes. They're good, good clothes. So the ones that weren't uh, gonna be used hardly at all, I bought this wardrobe from Amazon and it zips up and then uh, it's pretty, pretty seal proof, but it's breathable, but it's got a lot of my clothes in it and it, it's, um, it works. I have a lot of clothes in there. I have a trunk at the bottom and a couple comforters, my beach wagon. Um, I'll show you when we get in there. I am a gardening fool these days. Uh, this is, I have to buy, excuse me, distilled water for my little pet that I rescued. I'll show you that. Beach chairs, um, just the, the garage is a nightmare. I got these. These are so fun. They're uh, one tenth scale RC cars of the G wagon. This is a six by six, and there's my exact car. I need to charge it and put the batteries in it. But this is my garage. Like I said, it's a cluttered up mess, but um, I suppose a lot of people's garages are. So let's go inside. I've changed a lot of things since I've moved here, and I, I love, I absolutely love this house. You get such a, I feel. A sense of serenity and peace in here. This is my laundry room, which is just an average laundry room. I, I, I love LED lights. I mean, I love them. And I put this painting above it just because, is that beautiful or what? And when I come in from the garage, I have my keys here, uh, the washer dryer. Uh, I always set my handbag down here, any packages I have. I bought this thing as a purse liner for my, I have an Hermes but I didn't like it, so I swore my sunglasses. What, is that a mess or what? Um, this is Daisy. She was a rescue dog. She's just the prettiest little thing. She, um, somebody dumped her in our neighborhood so they knew to bring her to me because, forgive this, I've started my Christmas uh, list for people, so I'm putting them in stacks and then I'll wrap them in. But this is my office. Not much has changed here. When I bought my Corvette new, they gave me this, which is, I love the Corvettes. I, I, I just love cars. I do love cars. So this is my little office, which uh, Cheeto, my Bengal, is in here all the time. I'm surprised he's not in that bowl because that's where he loves to be. This office, I'm ashamed of it. It's, it's a mess, but, and these are some replica Corvettes and aircraft. I love aircraft. And then over here, this is like a utility closet over here. Oh, there's my Bengal cat. Hey, buddy. Oh, see, he always talks to me. Hey, Cheeto. Yes, you're a beautiful man. This is his bed. This is his room, and that's okay. Uh, the chairs I've showed you before, they're, they're made out of airplane material. Uh, spare closet in here. Forgive me, I just got back from the gym. I'm not cleaned up. I'm a mess, no makeup. Uh, the pool bathroom. I put his telephone in here and an elephant, because why not? Then over here... I love fish. I love all animals, but uh, these are this is my little fish tank. And these guys are just, they see me, cut. see, they know I'm here. They know that I'm right here and I'm going to feed them. Um, this is my latest rescue. Well, she's the last rescue, but this little guy, her name is Gertie. I named her Gertie. Hi, baby girl. She's a veiled chameleon. And when I rescued her, I begged the guy to let me take her because she was completely white. She's kind of, her color's a little off right now because she's about to lay her eggs. Look, she's she's not liking this camera. But, and she will lay her eggs in here. They will lay anywhere from 20 to 80 eggs twice a year. So I have to put these little nesting boxes in here for her. What you do is you have to imitate, replicate Madagascar. So she's got, I'll show you. 
She's got like the fogger that comes down. Like I do this like five times a day. She's got to have the fog. I have a dripper that drips rain like the rainforest, the trees. And she's not looking good. She just finished shedding. She sheds twice a year as well. Hey, pretty girl. Usually she comes running to me because she knows I'm going to feed her a big, fat, juicy worm. I don't really like that. Same, everything's pretty much the same in here. Daisy runs the entire house. She's just the sweetest dog. I can't believe somebody dumped her in the neighborhood. And she was probably, um, I bet she wasn't even six weeks old. The vet said she was, oh, she had worms, she had fleas. And she just, this, I've never had a dog love me like this dog loves me. Do you love your mama? Do you love your mama? Well, I love you too. You're very beautiful. So, uh, nothing much has changed in here too much. I put the fireplace in here just because, I don't know, why not? I, I did put these plantation shutters up, which I love these because when you, when you want complete privacy, you can slide them across. I had um, automatic blinds, but they, they kept running out of batteries. I'd have to climb clear up there to change the batteries. It got old, so these are better. And I also put them on my um, the front doors. Which, and I really like these. I really, I got these at Home Depot. This opens up, door closes up. We'll come back out to the pool area in a minute. Okay, so this is the living room. This house is very casual. It's very, very casual. Um, the dining room, I, I was so excited. I was so happy with myself because during COVID, I was bored out of my brain. So I decided to paint my kitchen. This is the same color as the master bedroom and I'll show you. But it was, it, this part wasn't hard. Doing the trim, this was hard. Those stripes were difficult. That's Daisy's wee wee pad, which we need to fix, pick that up. But I put the plant there to kind of, when you walk in, oh look, there's no pee pee pad. <laughs> I had the I the um, I remodeled the kitchen. I had them come in and I put um, granite countertops, uh, different appliances. They're all Samsung. Uh, this I put a waterfall edge on it, which I this is not a big formal kitchen. I'm not that good of a cook. Although during COVID, also I taught myself how to cook. I watched every cooking show known to man, and I've learned a lot. I've learned about flavors. What I learned about. So the microwave, this is my best tool ever in the kitchen. It's a Ninja air fryer, uh, toaster oven. It bakes, it air fries, it roasts, it broils. That thing is amazing. And then it folds up. I'll show you. It, it, you can fold it down to cook with. It's filthy. Or, or it, you can, uh, it'll fold up so, to keep it out of the way. I found this cutting board at... Um, See, I use a lot of things for flavor. I found this cutting board at Home Goods, and that not that the coolest cutting board ever? I love it. These were mine. Uh, I brought these up from the Keys. Uh, so the countertop goes on a black granite sink, which I would never do that again. Never would I put a granite sink in. Um, the dishwasher is a see. All the, all the appliances are Samsung, which I love. But this dishwasher is the nastiest. If you, if I open that up right now, it smells like somebody died in there. And I, I called the company. I read the reviews after I purchased it, of course. It had like 20,000 negative reviews because of the smell. It cleans the dish. No, it really doesn't clean the dishes that well. It, it, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I need to replace it. And then this it used to be the dining room. But now it is, this is Daisy's bed. It, she, she's one of those dogs that will cover herself up with a blanket. She'll f work on that blanket for a half hour until she has herself all bundled up. And sh she will cover herself. This is the cats, where the cats eat. This is not a dining room anymore. It's a pet room. Uh, this is where Fancy, my big fat white cat, sleeps. This is the, um, the back patio i call it a catio because this is where the cats hang out cheeto i put that uh branch there so he can climb he always he will jump on the top of the doors but he oh and this is a wildlife preserve behind me there's uh bobcats florida panthers there's an owl back there i hear him uh hawks the birds and wildlife i wish you could hear some of the birds they're they're quiet now probably because they hear me talking but and i've planted i've got a, a mango tree some bamboo, an avocado, uh, that's an avocado. I, I love this back catio and the cats, they, they live to go back there. So that's the catio. 
And then um, I'm gonna take you into the master bedroom because during COVID, um, I got this bright idea to completely remodel my bedroom and bathroom. And I gutted out everything, took out the closets, took out the shelves, took out everything went, the toilet, the sinks, the bathtub, the shower, everything. You stay right there, pretty girl. So this is the master bedroom before it had that hotel grade carpet on it. So I had marble put all through it. And the marble is four foot by two foot. I think it is. I'm terrible with measurements, but uh, marble, big sheets of marble. And um, the bedroom looks out onto the, the wildlife preserve as well. My same bed, which I love, but I had, I, this is the same color as my kitchen. And I, for two weeks, I sat in my garage with paint chips trying to figure out what color, I did not want, you know, muted gray or green or blue or white or yellow or it, I wanted something sexy and different. And I came up with, this is called Peppercorn by Sherwin, is it Sherwin Williams? Yes. And um, it's sexy and it's different and I absolutely love it. It pretty much goes with everything. I thought that the darker color would make everything appear smaller, but it's not true. It makes everything appear a little bit a little bit bigger. It's a big bedroom anyway. I put a, uh, this is a recliner. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi, or not Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all that to it. Uh, my mirror that I had bought from um, Pier 1. I hate that they're out of business. I can't stand that a lot of things are out of business. So I put uh, blackout drapes on, on the there and on the, the windows just because you can make this room, I mean, completely black. And then the best thing I did my bathroom was so, it had green formica countertops. It was the ugliest bathroom known to man. But when I bought this house, I knew I was going to do something. I just, it took me a couple years to figure out just what. So I thought about it and thought about it. So this is my new bath. There was a closet here, like a linen closet. And I had them take it out to make this a bigger bathtub area. Uh, the big master shower, the other one was just closed up and cramped. I just don't look at me. I, like I said, I just got back from the gym. Uh, the vessel sinks and the the um, faucets turn on and off by a touch, which I would never do that again. Don't do that. One time, this is the one I use all the time. One time it quit and I was like, oh great, now I have to call a plumber. It runs on a battery. At six batteries, I had to change. I didn't know that. My little toothpaste dispenser, which I love that thing. These are, um, I had them replaced. They had ugly medicine cabinets before. So I had them put recess these in and it's got a magnifying mirror. I love those. The big mirror is, um, it's dimmable, which I love that. Excuse the way I look. And here's another, um, see, I got close to it and it turned on. Don't do that. I would never do that again. <laughs> uh, the, the, where the commode is, so it, since I took the closet out over here, I had nowhere to put like toiletries and toilet paper, you know, those things you need. So I, they put this giant cabinet above the, the toilet here and it stores all of my things. I've, I've got room up there even. Now I had, that used to, the closet that was there had towels. So I'll show you what I did for my, for towels and stuff, so. And then the shower, I love the master shower. It's big and it's got the marble and I put these penny rounds. But I, what I really like is I found this and when you turn it on, we're gonna take a shower together, guy, okay? Uh, when you turn it on, it comes out because the water's cold, it'll come out blue. And then as the water warms up, the lights will turn uh, green. And if it's too hot, the lights will turn red. And it's rain. It's like standing outside in the rain. When I come in the shower, I never want to get seen. Now it's green. That means you can go ahead and I have the, the water on full heat. So in a minute, it's going to say, hey, stupid. Your water's too hot. Get out. Now that I would buy again. Just wait till it turns red. Oh, come on. Really? I wish I were under there because, like, like I said, I just got back from the gym. I probably need to get under there. Well, boom. It's not going to turn red. Am I going to have to edit this so I don't look stupid? Probably. 
we'll turn it off. But isn't that, I love that thing. I absolutely love it. And then I also had them put a um, handheld in here just because, so you can clean it, get the corners and whatever. So I love my shower. I really do love the shower. So like I said, there was a linen closet here. Oh, and I had them put these. I love these doors. I love the glass panel doors. I think there, this is a pocket door, which I love pocket doors, but those little puppies are not cheap. Nothing was cheap during COVID. And I asked my builder, I said, what, you know, it was at the height of, it took them seven months to do this. I, and I said, what happens when, when do we quit? I mean, when will you have to stop? And he said, as long as Home Depot is open, we will keep building. I found this, I looked at chandeliers. I wanted a beautiful chandelier for my uh, bathroom. I saw some that were 5,000, 4,800. I found this for $125 at Wayfair. And it isn't, and I think it's dimmable, it is. Isn't it beautiful? You can dim it way down or dim it way up. I love it so much, I love that. And I, ha I found these at Wayfair as well. Um, I, I really am happy. When the, the, the bathroom, don't look in there, it's messy. But they close themselves, which I've always liked those that do that. This rug I found at Wayfair, I paid way too much money, but I just think, I had a green spread on my bed, but it, this rug will go with everything. My little uh, robot vacuum is under that table there. Um, a lot of people might not like the black, the peppercorn, but I really, really like it. I'm very happy with it. This is where I put, ended up, put, this is a gentleman's chest that I had in the keys and brought up. I put my towels are on there. Oh, I'm afraid to open this and show you. Oh yeah, it's nasty. So <laughs> sheets and towels are in there. <laughs> it's bad. Um, and then you've seen my closet. I love my closet. I, I just can't, I come in here to put my makeup on and I just get happy. Okay. I had this made for me. There's a play, a girl on Etsy. I don't remember her name. I wish I did. Uh, just, just, uh, type it in, uh, flower boxes. It was like, I think I paid $85 for it, but I love it. My Barbie doll, which I just thought was so pretty. And I had a lot of these things that were just decorations. My hats, my handbags, shoes. Uh, back here, are like my work in the yard shoes. I'm always working in the yard. I got a phone call. Um, and then some of my better dressier shoes that I love. My Chanel's, uh, Balmain. I don't think I said that right. And then my, my makeup counter, I love this thing. It's Bluetooth, when you turn it on, it, uh, it you can hook up your phone, your, your, I usually put, bring my computer in here, hook it up and watch Court TV. I am addicted to Court TV. So that's the clock, and you saw my little locker that I love for dresses. So, and then I'm gonna take you out to the pool area. We could go out that door, but I think I'll take you out the front door. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. I don't know where my fat white cat is. She just, she's so fat. Hey, Daisy. See, watch, they see me and they, they think I'm gonna feed them. <laughs> so, and this is my, this is my sanctuary back here. I live to be back in this back, back here. Okay, that's, that's the front door to come into the entry of the house. But basically, I come in the garage. But basically, this is the front door of my house here. And it's, I call this the tower because it's, it's the tower. This is when you enter the house. This is the entryway. And I have become, I have got the greenest thumb you could ever imagine. I can grow anything. These plants, I switched these plants out to put in there in Gertie's cage because she loves plants and she will eat this is a pathos she will eat them which is good for her and but I had to put her nesting boxes in while she's about to lay her eggs when she finishes with her eggs I will put those back so this is the uh, the entryway this thing I don't know what happened to it I've had it about two years I think it's just because it's it's regrowing um, this I brought from my house in Indiana a bamboo tree I love bamboo I trimmed it way back so it'll grow taller and this, this plant right here was from my husband's funeral and that's been nine and a half years ago. But look at that plant, it was just a tiny little plant. I brought it down and it, it loves that corner. And then I decorated this. I love these half, I have one on the back patio, these half umbrellas that'll hug the wall. And then my Margaritaville um, 
These are like my beach chairs. These are Tommy Bahama. I'd love to take those to the beach. This was just a wicker and I painted it pink because I'm single. I live alone. I can paint anything pink. I can have all the pink I want. This is where the cats, another place, the cats, everything around here is for the pets. The, um, they love, especially Cheeto. He sits in that bowl all day. Okay, uh, this is one of my pride and joy. I love these little tomatoes called Campari tomatoes or Italian tomatoes. So I decided, well, I, I can grow things really well. So I took the seeds out of one. I didn't, I looked, looked on YouTube, how do you grow tomatoes? Took the seeds out, planted it, and this thing, it's, it's almost, it's over seven foot tall. And I've already had tomatoes off of it. Look how beautiful they are. This one's about to turn red. It'll turn red in a week. But look at all my beautiful tomatoes from one little seed. I am so proud of her. I come out here every morning and check on her. Uh, see, I have the screen lanai, so I don't really get too many bugs or birds or anything that are gonna eat it. So that's very good. And um, I came out here, I come out here every morning and talk to it and feed it. I'm growing some more uh, royal palms here. And here I have garlic. I love garlic. And I have, uh, these are jalapeno peppers, some more smaller tomatoes. Hey, Daisy. Um, this is a lime tree, which I get limes off this like crazy. Let me see if I have one coming on. Usually I have a couple limes just hanging there. No, and then these are uh, green peppers. This is a uh, lemon tree. A lim and I, surprisingly, it looks dead, but it's not. I'll get lemons off there. You can see I just picked one from there. Um, hibiscus. This was a pineapple. I had two pineapples growing in a pot that was too small, but I had the most, those little pineapples are yummy. Another tomato plant that's doing very well. She's doing well. A palm tree and my, and then the pool. And then uh, I just put this, to, threw this together. I like to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they'll have these things for $99. I'll buy the pot, buy the dirt, buy two or three plants and put it together myself. And a total in there, I probably have $40. And it's fun to, so I can pick out whatever I want to. Um, this was a, a thing of succulents and it, it was in a, in an ugly pot. So I took it apart and got the bright idea to put it in this glass terrarium. I really messed it up. It doesn't, the plants are doing well, but it just looks really bad, I think. Um, Daisy, she loves it out here. This little plant, I bought it, I think I showed you way back when, when I was in Indiana. I paid $4 for this little plant at, at Walmart. It was about two inches tall. I named her Rosie, and it's a Japanese money plant. They say that if you have one and it's doing well, you'll always be financially okay. And this thing has just, look at her, she's huge. I named her Rosie after the movie um, Water for Elephants, because that big elephant's name was Rosie. Um, my bar with my umbrella that a Wayfair sent me, or was it Front Gate? Isn't that terrible? I don't remember. I think it was Wayfair because I spend so much money there. This is a cat litter box. You can't see it because it's hidden behind the bar and it's got that green coming out of it, but it's perfect for the, for the cats. This was the pot that those succulents were in. I love the plants, but the pot was so ugly. And I really, it was beautiful in there, but I, met, I think I messed it up. This was a plant for my husband's funeral as well, and it's doing amazing. Another hibiscus, another tomato, and basil. I love fresh basil because you can make a turkey sandwich taste like heaven with fresh basil. So that is my uh, updated house tour. If you've been with me for a while, you'll know that I've changed a lot. Oh, and the, then uh, the, the, poor, the poor guest house. I just finished having guests. When my surfboard, I turned it around. This, I had to put this towel on there because the sun was beaming through these doors and just chewing on that. It was killing the fabric. So I put, I lived out here for seven months while they redid my bedroom and bath. And uh, it's a nice room, but I, I was ready to burn the mother down by the time they finished. So I put these blackout curtains everywhere. So this room can be completely dark. Um, it, there's really not much to it. It's kind of become like my uh, catch-all for all the stuff that I won't, don't want in my house. My wreaths, I interchange my wreaths and stick them out here. Extra dining room tables because I don't use it. My front door wreath. Uh, the cage that I got with for Gertie when I first got her. Uh, 
this was in my makeup room at one time. It's got a little sink and a refrigerator and a microwave. Uh, the bathroom. I haven't been out here for a while. Oh, somebody, somebody didn't rinse the bottom. That looks like Comet. Anyway, the um, it's 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 a great for guests. It's I didn't like living out here for seven months. Let me tell you that I was. Like I said, I told my builder, I said, if you don't get me out of that pool house, I'm going to burn the mother down. <laughs> so that's my updated house tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I miss all of you so much. I'm going to try to make some more videos. I'm just busy. I'm very busy. So have a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, you guys. Bye.